Now I know I've mentioned how much I like this little screen, but what if I went to something littler? about going from a 7 inch screen to a 3.5 inch screen that's pretty cool right this little tiny nano screen that I got this is actually going to go in an upcoming build well if I can get it to focus 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 or I'll throw you yeah, there you go focus wait wait yeah, I got this cool little 3.5 inch screen um, that came in the mail like a year ago. And uh, it comes with this little acrylic like base that you can use to put it together and stuff. Um, but we are not going to do that. Um, on the back it has this pen array. I think that's what I'm actually going to use to mount it. Um, because I don't think this thing has tilt so let's see here that's right way up that is not right way up so yeah it doesn't auto tilt like it doesn't change the direction so I would be forced to mount it this way but yeah it's pretty cool right going from a little screen to a littler screen just thought I would show you guys that so this is one of my cameras it's brand new just ordered it not too long ago um, I actually did a video on it and the replacement came. This one is a complete dud. You power it up, you see, power, nothing happens. No prompt. When you normally plug these things in, it spins around like this and it says waiting to be configured. And then after it says that, the lights will come on and flicker and it will say starting up. Please configure Wi-Fi setup or whatever. This one, it does nothing. It does nothing. So I was thinking, well, let's take it apart. What's inside of this thing? Maybe a cable or something just came loose or unplugged in it, and I can get it working. Um, that way I don't have to buy another camera, because uh, I already got this one. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take this thing apart. This is the main part of the video, but I just wanted to show you guys that, because it's so cool and it made me very happy. So, if you guys are new to this channel, please subscribe, drop a like on this video, help me out, share this video on Facebook, go to my videos, hit play all, put the, put the volume on silent, and just let my videos play in the background, guys. You will help me out so much if you did something like that. So, let's take it apart. So, we're going to use our new uh, Brooklyn Lux um, LED lighting. Universal lighters. Uh, these are really nice. I actually did a video on these so y'all need to check that video out um, But we're going to use that to light up our area nice and well. It looks like it just takes standard um, Phillips head screws, so let me go ahead and grab a Phillips and we'll start taking those two out I'm assuming once I take that out this will allow the camera to pop down and then it looks like there's two more right there Oh look it look see look at the, the light just came on see what I mean? This thing is tripping dude it's tripping it don't even work all right but it's like oh no you're gonna take me apart no now I'm going to work <laughs> okay let's get our Phillips out so we remove the top and inside you can see the main gearing and the motor and stuff that uh, controls the camera's ability to you know rotate and that right there is a stopper that plastic piece that stops it but if you look inside there's just a control board uh, that black wire right there that right there is your antenna wire uh, but I'm assuming that this is the control board for the motor and probably for the Wi-Fi and stuff um, although I'm not sure if I take it apart can I put it back together and do I need to take all of that out and able to get down into the housing of the camera well, I don't know. I'm going to take those two screws out next and see where it leads me. So I removed the four backside screws. And I'm assuming that this... Ooh, it does. It just slides right on out. 
not too much to them. There's the housing of the actual camera and lens. I don't see any like cables that are pulled out of place or jarred or any burnt spots in it. Um, all the cables look good. There's another motor right there that controls the up and down version and then there's the speaker in the back. Man, there's, there's really not too much to them. That's where your SD card goes right there. See, it opens up and your SD card goes in there and then there's your reset button right there. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything that's burnt out or black or anything. I don't, I don't see any damage or, or nothing. It, it must it must be in, like internally like one of these little chips or something must have failed inside because um, you saw it for yourself the lights just came on and that was it it didn't do nothing else well pooey I thought there might be a little bit more to that that was actually uh, quite simple so it just it has two two control boards one is for the the camera and all that and then the other one controls the motors hmm. that's it the whole brain of the operations right there in the face of it you know I've I've ordered about eight of these cameras so far and this was the first one that came to me um, as a dud so and I was confident enough in this brand that I went ahead and just ordered well I didn't order it they sent me a new one they made it right and sent me a new one after I explained to them what was going on with this one but huh all right well I guess there's not too much else to do I don't really know how I can fix it uh, and I really don't feel like tearing it any more apart because I would like to just put it back together put it back in the box and keep it for spare parts um, you know because who knows if maybe one of these go out or you know the the bracket on this fails or breaks I'll I'll have a spare because I bought all of the same model number of camera I would just find a camera and then buy eight of them and I would have eight cameras of all the same models and stuff so that way if something happened um, I would have a spare to it but it's a good camera there's like 20 something different features this camera actually offers uh, and it works quite well so but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here you guys thank you for watching I was kind of hoping there would be a little bit more to this than that. What's inside of a security camera? Not too much. Not too much at all, really. Um, yeah, there it is. As you can see, don't try this at home, but do subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all be good. There we go. We are now getting the device ready. So it will now be a fully functional computer. It'll boot, load, and do all that good stuff. Uh, while I was in the BIOS, I did have a chance to take a look at the temperatures. We are running a nice 58 degrees on the CPU and the motherboard's a, uh, a cool 60 degrees, which is, that's not bad. Um, keeping your motherboard and CPU in the 60 degree range is uh, pretty good, especially on idle. Um, you know, if it was running in like the 80s or something like that on idle, that might be an issue. But... Uh, Windows is going to load here and there it is oh yes awesome it loaded sweet now that means I could probably do some stuff with it cool oh man this is going to be great oh yes check that out alright so now the thing I need to do now is put the RGB RAM on it and it will be a complete deal done this wall PC is dope it is looking so good and the finally got the screen to come on so that is making me happy especially with the look of it make sure to get subscribed to the channel so y'all don't miss any of this awesome footage because we are building custom PCs left and right and we got another one coming up real soon